some besties. I was at Target and found this on clearance. It was $12. I just had to get it. Now, the box was damaged. I hope it's not missing any pieces, but at $12, I'll take my chances. Normally priced at $39.99, this is a fully furnished house with a kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and pool. Let's check and see if all the pieces are there. So far, so good. Lots of printed backdrops. The pool is kind of small. I wouldn't mind trading it for like a sofa or something. It has a bed that attaches to the wall so it can be folded up for storage. We have two chairs. They are different colors. I would have liked to have seen the same color. There's a little table that can fold down to be used as an eating area for the dolls. However, I feel like the chairs are a little short. It comes with a few accessories, like a house plant, bedding, some toiletries, a tablet, hanger, a table setting for two, a pot, faux lights, and stickers. So that's the whole place. This wall right here is the whole bathroom. You have a toilet, which is actually there. We can lift the top and everything. The sink is printed right above it. There's a small shelf and a printed mirror. The headboard and pillows are printed. So are the little table and decorations on the side. The clothes in the closet are printed. However, there's a little bit of space to hang a couple of things. On the other side, which is the outside of the house, we have some more pictures. It looks like we have like a little barbecue scene here, some pink lemonade. But this is all like a printed paperboard. Hmm, I bet we could remove it if we wanted to. Then add our own pictures to customize it a little. Okay, that sounds like fun. This back wall looks a little tricky. We have to remove these little plastic things that help to hold it in place, and it's not easy. I'm using pliers to push them in. Hope I don't break them or hurt myself. Craft at your own risk, y'all. All the inserts have been removed, and I wanna see how much space we have when everything is folded up. Okay, there's a little bit of space in there. But if we build up too much, we won't be able to store the items inside. But I'm okay with that if we have to make a little container to put them in on the side. And we can totally use these as templates to make walls that we can switch out whenever we like. I trace it on poster board, cut it out, cover it with scrapbook paper or a printable. I made this tile printable to look similar to the original one, just without the printed sink. And I'm putting my stone on the back because we can print it in black and white and save a little ink. This allows us to remove the sink from above the toilet. Since the plastic frame is blue, I kind of wanted to stay in that color scheme. Otherwise, I would have to like go outside and spray paint and I really don't want to do all that. We can still use this shelf for like toiletries and stuff. If we don't want to see the bed right next to the toilet, I do believe this wall turns. Yeah, we can bend it back. So now it gives the illusion like we're going into another room. And then we can just add the sink from the Ken playset. Mm, the blues are not the same color. And now we have this purple to deal with. Since we're adding furniture to this playset that we know cannot be stored inside, we need to add a hidden doll room. So let's take foam board. I cut a piece that is 13 and 3 quarter inches tall. I'm going to score my side walls at 11 inches and have 4 and a half inches in the center. After scoring them, we have a trifold. Cut a piece of foam board for the floor. I cover the wall with that same blue tile. I covered the other wall with a contact paper I found on Amazon. However, the print was a little larger than I wanted, so I took a picture of it and shrunk it down. For the floor, I think we should make a floor extension. Yeah, so we can go all the way across that back wall. I glue them together. 
Then I cover it with our marble printable, cover it with tape. I score a line at four and a quarter inches on the back so it can bend, flip it over, and let's just glue that small area into the box. You know, just along the side and before the bend to make a hidden doll room with a four that can fold up for easy storage. Put it on the side of the playset, add the sink, placing it on whichever wall makes sense. I might move it this way from time to time, just cause I like the visual. But if the doll was sitting right here, then it might get in the way, so I don't know. And let's trade the pool for a tub which we can also move around depending on the shot we're trying to get. And when playtime is over, it closes up for easy storage. The bathroom is bigger than pretty much the rest of the house, but we're not gonna worry about that. Let's take the poster board we made from the other template and cover it with our wallpaper. When I put it up to the wall, we can see areas where we can add some printables for a little bit more decor. I'm going to add our bookcase printable. Oh yeah, crafting can be dangerous, you have been warned. I covered the other side with the stone, then let's put it back in place. Let's add the piano from the Barbie Musician playset. I removed the microphone, and I think I want to remove this bed. Let's replace it with the gold one from another playset. Hmm. I wouldn't mind moving it though. Cut foam board and cover with paper. I take a small strip of leftover foam board, glue one inch rectangles of foam board going straight up, leaving a space in the middle that is wide enough for foam board. I glue on a few more for stability, then slide the wall between the foam board to make a freestanding wall that we can use as a room divider giving the illusion that the bathroom is in another room. And we can place the bed on this little faux wall, add some bedding. I laid down some wood grain paper for a floor. I put our boxwood printable outside the window for a little greenery. Let's add the Barbie TV stand to cover up this blank space on the wall. The plant, maybe some line art, and a few more plants. It's definitely starting to take on kind of an eclectic look. Maybe this doll is an artist or a writer or a student. In the kitchen, I use leftover foam board, make a box. I use poster putty to attach it to the wall, a push pin for a knob to make a faux cabinet that is removable. I tape on a tile backsplash. I made another box to go under the sink. Then let's use the island for kitchen accessories from other play sets. Then bring in another Barbie table. This one is from a Barbie dream house. Add two chairs. I had another pink chair so I was able to make them match. Or maybe we can go with the purple. Let's switch out the Barbie plant for something a little taller, like this paper house plant from a previous video to complete this space. I wanted this to look very lived in with a little personality. It's definitely a different look for me. I was really trying to incorporate the plastic frames that were on the house without making any permanent changes to the structure. Because remember, those inserts are still removable and we can change them back whenever we like allowing us to take more chances and experiment with different looks. I like that we extended this space with a hidden doll room and added a large bathroom where we can store some of the other furniture items. It was fun decorating this space with Barbie play sets. We've been collecting them for years, so I really enjoy an opportunity to take them out and use them. Thank you for joining us while we gave our dollhouse a whole new look. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!